Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey, Mania Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. We'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Be Heart Smart, Understand, Treat, and Prevent Coronary Heart Disease. It's by Dr. Kine, MD, MPH. And normally I would try to pronounce the uh, whole name, the first name, but I'm just going to mess it up. I know Kine's got to be right because I've got several friends with the, the name Kine. Of course, they have the Kine as the first name. Anyway, normally when we get books about different medical situations, you have a doctor that's trying to promote, promote his practice, trying to say, hey, you know, we did all this and contact uh, blah, 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 doctors incorporated or whatever. And um, if you have any questions about this, you can contact my office. That sort of thing. And you don't see that in here. Um, what you see in here is a doctor trying to answer all the questions. And a lot of times, you'll see that the doctor has one tool in his toolbox, and he's promoting that one tool. And usually it's some type of medicine that he's helped uh, to invent or help to promote or help to develop or whatever. But some kind of way he has a, a vested interest in this medicine. And sometimes it's a procedure that... Uh, he made famous or a particular way of doing a procedure that he made famous he's trying to promote um, so that he can show his authority in it. But that's not the way in this book. This is completely different than a lot of the other medical books that we've read. This book, it's, um, well, it's very well written and it's written in terms that even a redneck like me can understand where he describes and he gives us some of them great big old foot long words but then he breaks it down and he tells us what it means. And so you don't have to sit there and say, duh, what's that? You, you can understand exactly what he's talking about. You can understand when he tells you um, the different procedures that they uh, have that are possible to prevent, to diagnose, or to fix different problems. That uh, You understand what he's doing. He describes in great detail without getting boring. And uh, he describes in great detail the different medicines and what they're used for. But, now this is very unusual in this day and time, he also promotes diet. Most of the doctors I go to, I've been, I've probably been to more doctors than uh, this guy's ever even talked to in the hospital, and he's in the hospital every day. But uh, just about every doctor that you talk to nowadays, he wants you to take a pill. He wants you to take some sort of medicine, and they don't mention anything at all about diet. They don't mention anything about exercise. They don't mention anything about cutting back on your salt. That's from... Uh, Back in the good old days when medicine was really medicine and not just a way of um, milking the insurance companies for all that they're worth. Anyway, this, this doctor, he's kind of like the old school doctors. The doctors that, you know, realize that not only is there medicine, not only are there operations, not only are there other procedures and diagnostic tests and that sort of thing. Sometimes it's just, just good old common sense where you control it with diet, you control it with exercise, or you help control it with diet, or you help control it with exercise. It's not just medicine. It's not just surgery. It's not just this procedure or that procedure. It's um, uh, the whole roundabout overall treating of the body. The treating of the body with um, getting your stress levels down, getting your body back into shape, getting your body uh, back down to the weight that it should be. And he talks about that and he talks about common sense ways to lose weight and common sense ways to stop smoking. And uh, you don't even hear many doctors telling you to stop smoking anymore. I've, uh, in the last 30 years, and I've been in the, the hospital multiple times in the last 30 years, and it is very rare to hear a doctor even ask if you smoke anymore. But uh, if they sometimes ask if you smoke, they sometimes ask if you drink, and that sort of thing. This doctor approaches it the old way, the right way, the way where you know that your body is being given its best opportunity. Now, if you've got any questions about your heart, this book will help answer it. 
I mean, not everything. I mean, you're not going to be a cardiologist when you finish. But now, if you've got someone in your future, you know, someone who in your life that in their future will possibly face heart problems, you want to read this book. Uh, and who, who doesn't have someone in their family, the friend or a relative or someone else, that either has or soon will face some sort of heart situation? Um, probably you yourself. Maybe you will face it. And I've, we're just uh, a few miles down the road from where this gentleman actually practices. And it's amazing that I haven't run into him as many times as I've been in Houston area hospitals. Um, but I would love to. He's the kind of doctor that he's got it all covered. He's got all the bases covered. So that when he gives you advice, when he tells you about treatment, hey, you know. You know he's got your best interest at heart. And we thank you. Ordinarily, on this next to the last slide, we bring either Hammy in to do a little bit of joking around, or York, his twin brother, or we bring Fred and Mackenzie, the, the Snookies, in to uh, kind of mess around, joke around a little bit. But this is too serious to joke around with. We think that, uh, well, for one, you need to be heart smart, and this book will help you. You need to have a good idea about how to take care of your heart. And because of that, we think that this last slide deserves a word of prayer. We're going to pray for the doctor and his practice, all his patients, and the people that he will come in contact with. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Please be with Dr. Kahn and all the different uh, patients that he sees. Help him to know the proper way to treat each one, to treat each one the way that uh, you need to have them treated. Please bless him, guide his hands, guide his patients, and help them to feel and understand that Dr. Kind is there for them. Please bless them, help heal them all. Please watch over us all, guide us all, direct us all, and keep us safe from all harm. It's in Christ, most holy, and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Ready to order? Click the link below.